Welcome to Railfans Canada. In this video, we will be taking a look at the western extension of the O-Train, which will expand service to Algonquin and Moody. Tunney's Pasture Station. We start off by picking up where the O-Train currently terminates at Tunney's Pasture. As you can see, the guideway along Scott Street is virtually complete as we look on to the first station on the western extension, which will be next station, Westboro. This station has definitely seen a lot of progress this summer. Lots of exterior glazing, glass, steelwork. The platform canopies are really taking shape at this point. The bus loop around the station. Everything is really advancing quite nicely and we should see more progress continue over the next couple months, even before the winter really hits. You can see everything is really starting to take a lot of its final shape. And it's really gonna be a nice station that integrates well into the Westboro community. As we continue looking farther west to our next stop. Next station, Kitchissippi. And Kitchissippi used to be Dominion Station when it was a bus rapid transit station on the transit way. The station really has an interesting look. Below grade, just like Westboro. You can see the entrances on the sides that allow people to pass through from one side of the community to the other. You can see the new Westboro Beach off in the distance to the left. And the traction power substation just adjacent to the station itself. Definitely a lot of progress being made here. It's very exciting. It's going to be a well-served station for the community around here and for those wanting to enjoy Westboro Beach and the Ottawa River. And as the train departs Kitchissippi, it's going to head down into the Parkway Tunnel. and emerge just along Richmond Road in the Byron Linear Park to arrive at our next stop, which is also below grade. Next station, Sherborne. Pretty much just west of Kitchissippi, right to the station, all underground in a tunnel. As we've mentioned many times in the past, the platform area is going to be exposed to the above, but that's all that's exposed. Everything else is in a tunnel, which is going to make for a really interesting feel. And it allows the Byron Linear Park to be restored, have new pathways, trees, all the green space is going to come back once the work around here in Richmond Road is done. You can see how it really is in the middle of Richmond and Byron and what's really neat here is how close it is to the residential area it really feels like a, a station that you would find in Montreal right in the heart of the community and that's great because it makes it even more popular more likely to be used by many more people next station New Orchard as we continue on to the next stop New Orchard same idea as Sherborne Everything leading up to and from the station is in a tunnel, except for the platforms that are open to the above. And again, what's really neat about these two stations, these are new stations that did not exist on the transit way. The buses would leave Dominion or now Kitchissippi and not stop for the most part until they reach Lincoln Field. So these are big bonuses for these communities that were not really directly served by rapid transit before. It's a great addition to the community. Everybody's really going to appreciate this. As we continue looking back from New Orchard to our next stop, which is going to be Lincoln Fields, as the trains finally exit the Parkway Tunnel, ramping back up to at grade to reach Lincoln Fields, which will be the major transfer point between Line 1 and Line 3. Next station. Lincoln Fields. 
As you can see off to the side here, the permanent bus loop is really coming along nicely. The train platforms below. So from left to right, the left platform track will be the track going back east to downtown. The one to the right is going to be going towards Algonquin and the farthest right will be Moody, depending on the type of service and service pattern that will be offered, whether it's a shuttle or a direct service. You can take a quick look here at the old Legacy Station, what still remains. And now the new Lincoln Fields O-Train Station as it exits from this trenched area. We have another look here back at the bus loop, which is going to be a critical transfer point for people taking bus. Really an interesting station and it's definitely going to be very key for transferring between line 1 to Algonquin and line 3 to Moody. You can see the switches here, the pedestrian crossing next to the Woodruff High School. So now we're looking at line 1 as it continues on from Lincoln Fields to its next stop. Next station, Iris. Again, lots of work happened around here to reposition the creek and create an overpass to actually allow the trains to pass underneath Iris. Station really has a very simple design, no elevators, no escalators, just stairs and there's going to be ramps that are going to loop around from the sidewalk above to reach the platforms and the station entrances below. Once this area is all uh, been restored and there's going to be green and trees and grass and everything it's really going to be a bit of a nice lush oasis right in the city. Next station Algonquin. Next stop and the terminus for line one. Tracks located just underneath this grassed area. First entrance building right there next to the Algonquin Center for Advanced Construction Excellence and the other entrance this entrance right here, directly going down to the platform level below. And this other entrance here is going to be next to the bus loop with a pedestrian crossing right into the ACCE building itself. And the bus service is going to be just in the area behind here. You can also see the baseline park and ride just behind. And another look here next to Algonquin. You can see the first entrance building and the second one here next to the bus loop with the direct connection into the college campus itself. One final look as we see how it all connects from the LRT station into the campus itself. Next station, Queensview. Looping back from Lincoln Fields, now on line 3 that goes all the way to Moody, you can see how it passes just around the OC Transpo garage and stops at the new Queensview O-Train Station, right adjacent to the Leon's Furniture Warehouse. And as you can see, there's a pedestrian crossing that goes over to the other side near Baxter Road, next to the Ottawa Citizen Building, Fun Haven, and within walking distance to Ikea. And from this side, elevators and stairs bring you up to cross over. And on the train side itself, again, pedestrian crossing that go from one side of the Queensway to the other as well as the direct train access just below in the trenched area. Definitely a really interesting station with a few levels and lots of glass. Next station, Pinecrest. Pinecrest, passing underneath Pinecrest and Green Bank just alongside the 417 highway a lot of work happened around here to replace uh, the overpasses to make it allow for the trains to pass underneath. Definitely an interesting station, center platform, so the trains will stop on either side. You can see the old Pinecrest station off to the side there that loops back out. The new permanent bus loop that's going to be built. As we continue looking farther west from Pinecrest to our next station, just off in the distance. 
Next station, Bayshore. And this station right here, really, the platform area existed previously for the transit way, but it was built in such a way to allow for an easy conversion to O-Train service. You can see the bigger extended platforms, lots of glass. Glass canopies above, glass curtain walls on the sides. You can see the existing legacy structure being reused. The pedestrian crossing that went from the parkade because it doesn't actually connect right into the mall. It goes through the parkade. Passing through the bus station. With the local platforms below and then the train service just off to the left. As the trains continue farther west to our ultimate destination on line 3 which will be... Next station, Moody. In the station, it will be the current terminus for Line 3 until such time that the line gets extended to Canada. And we do have a video on what the proposed Canada extension will be like, so be sure to check that on our YouTube channel or the link at the top right of the screen. Definitely an interesting station. This is going to be a major transfer point for people switching over to bus for people living in uh, this general area as well as people continuing farther west towards Canada and Stittsville. There'll be a big bus loop area over here, a pick up and drop off area. And important to note, there is no park and ride. There's been a lot of questions about that. There's no park and ride at Moody. Here's another look. You can see how the platforms are offset from each other due to the off ramp from the 417. Exiting the station farther west, the trains will ultimately reach Corkstown Yard, light maintenance and storage facility. An essential facility that will help service the expanded O-Train. And that about wraps it up for this October installment of the O-Train Western Extension, which is planned to open in 2027, less than two years from now. As the light at the end of the tunnel comes into view, we encourage you to stay tuned to Railfans Canada for all the latest updates on the Western Extension.